Hi everyone, quick heads up video. If you use Epson scanners with uh, Epson scan utility and you are going to update to macOS Catalina, don't do it, at least for now. So I've been using beta since the beginning and this software does not work. To be honest, it doesn't even work with, uh, well, properly with the previous version of macOS. It would give you warning that you need to contact the manufacturer so that they update the software and they didn't. Uh, like, you actually can still use your scanner using image capture, so that's not driver issue, that's just software issue. But it doesn't really provide you with the same workflow and I think uh, results are really kind of interesting. So I don't know whether you still can use like ViewScan or uh, Silverfast with Catalina, but at least I think in September they're going to be released publicly, I mean Catalina macOS and uh, everyone will be prompted to update. So if you use uh, Epson scan, just don't do it or Google first. And to be more precise, actually, I will put a pinned comment down below and there is going to be the latest situation uh, basically on that stuff. So if there is an update and you still can use it, I will put it down below. If there are none, there is going to be like a placeholder comment or like a comment with the recent information. So, and by the way, right now, uh, this thing also don't work. It's a Wacom tablet. So they announced that they will be releasing a new driver for macOS Catalina early in August. It's August 12th as of today, still no driver. That's okay since Catalina is still a beta version of macOS, but you gotta be researching first before upgrading. Don't be me. And well, just to continue this video a little bit, I think we are entering the very same era when we gotta be keeping like a separate outdated machine just to perform scanning. It looks like that, uh, you know, those Epson V600, V700 and like so on are soon to become, uh, become um, you know, like a pack on scanner when you actually need like a really old laptop running Windows XP <laughs> to actually use it. So that would be actually interesting situation. By the way, I'm not like ranting, no complaining. I'm software engineer myself. I know what it takes to actually keep all those legacy software running on new machines. And that's actually full uh, responsibility from Apple. So they upgrade an operating system and uh, therefore all uh, basically software companies should basically migrate the software. So, uh, but then again, they actually gave like one full release uh, deprecation cycle. So that's just up for Epson to deprecate the software. And this Epson scan, Two utility didn't really work for me with that scanner. It uh, it looks like that it works only with network connected scanner and Epson V700 is not one of them. So that's just like a heads up video as like I said. So don't repeat my mistakes. Google before you upgrade. And if you really want to upgrade your main machine, just keep like an older, older machine around so that you could use it for scanning and for what have you. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.